Hello. Hi, teacher. Hello, good evening. How are you? I'm fine. What about you? So so. Survive. My goodness. Yes. It's been terrible. It's still shaking. Sorprendido. Surprised. <laughs> no recordaba los earthquakes. How old are you? Kevin? Hello, hello. Can you hear me? Okay, thank you. Hello, hello. Hello. Good evening, good evening. Yeah. Good evening, everybody. Okay, good. good. Are we good? Are we okay? Are we fine? Fine. Fine, good. Yes, because lately. Hola. Hello. Hello. All right. Vamos a dar como un par de minutitos para los que no se han conectado aún. Let's wait for everybody to get connected. Okay. Let's wait in a minute, please. Give me a second. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay. <sighs> Did you get scared? ¿Te asustaron? Mucho. A lot. <laughs> A lot. Dice se sintió Ay. en todos lados, dicen. Sí. Oh my God. Super, super hard, super strong. I know. Strong. Uh -huh. Some people were surprised by the earthquake. Okay. My God. It was a strong. No, aún no he pasado lista, Brenda. Don't worry. Relax. Vamos a ser un poco tolerant today. <laughs> Por esa conmoción. Puedes yeah. conversar. Yes, true. No, y de hecho también va a haber momentos en que seguramente me voy, voy a sentir que me quedo en silencio, pero es porque falla la señal. Dice unstable signal. Oh, your internet is not stable. Está un poco sí, sale con una barrita, nada más internet. Uh -huh. Kevin, le preguntaba, ¿cuántos años tiene? How old are you? I'm 21 years old. So no había vivido ningún earthquake. Excuse me? No había vivido ningún earthquake antes. No. No recuerda ninguno. Inclusive nací en el año de. <laughs> sí, that's un why. Sí, porque el de, tu, de 2001, mm -hmm. that was a disaster. Y justamente. Sí, según, eh, según me cuenta mi mamá, hubo uno en un día January... y, al mes, y al mes siguiente. Justamente la misma fecha, uh -huh. el siguiente mes, another. That yes. was terrible, terrible, terrible. And so mom is about pregnant, entonces. Yes. <laughs> Imagine. Ahí <laughs> brincaba. <laughs> Qué miedo. <laughs> Yo no podía salir corriendo. Ay, no. Sí. Lo peor es que estaba en el supermarket. Y se cae todo. Sí. En ese entonces existían... Eh, the lamps, de las largas, que solo, ajá, que solo estaban como colgadas. Ajá, ay, oh. Sí, ahorita de hecho un amigo que dice que estaba en, en un shopping mall, que sentía que todas esas vitrinas se venían, ¿no? Que macho, oh. en metro centro. Ay, no. I'm sorry. Pero sí es como bien, bien shocking. It's very shocking. All right. So, 
Hopefully we are all fine. Hopefully you are okay. And we are going to have our class number 10 on this third week, okay? So let me just grab this information right at the beginning. Okay, here we go. Let me see, let me see. Okay, <laughs> Denis se le olvidó grabar, dice cómo chocaban, rebotaban los carros. Oh yes, eso hubiera, eso hubiera sido para video for the news. Lo hubiera, lo hubiera vendido. <laughs> yeah, but if you are nervous, you are not able to film. I know, I know, it's, it's fine. Don't worry. Okay, well, let's get ready. Let's get started. As I mentioned, this information is important because we have to refresh the important norms or the important guidelines for the video conference, right? So to keep the volume in silence, to take attendance, to complete your, I mean, to write your full name, your complete name, to have the camera on, to participate actively, to use the chat, to raise your hand, to keep respect to each other, okay? The time of the class is one hour, 60 minutes, and that you work on the platform, okay? Working on the platform. So that's important as well. Okay, on the platform, we got to complete on this week, section four and the 50% of section five. So hopefully you are working on that already. And of course, on this class, we're going to still name clothing items and colors. Okay, we're going to practice the vocabulary of colors. Of course, there are so many more colors that we probably are not including in this uh, lesson on the book. All right. So hold on. Let me just go back and have the attendance. Okay, now ready for the attendance? Let's go. One second, please. July the 18th. My God. <laughs> okay. And no el audio. El audio. I'm sorry. Pasa. Jesus. Si quiere le pongo mute. Andrea, Andrea. Hello. Present. Hello. Good evening. Hello. Okay. Brenda Elizabeth. Brenda Elizabeth. Not here. Brenda Rachel. Present. Hello. Good evening, Carlos. Carlos, Carlos. Present teacher. Hello. Good evening, Dennis. Dennis estaba on the chat. I don't know if he has problems. Yes. <laughs> With the microphone. Okay. Elsie. Present teacher. Hello, good evening. Enrique. Enrique Oliver, not here tonight. Not tonight. Gerardo Antonio. No. Oops. Erlinda. Present teacher. Hello, good evening. Jeffrey. Jeffrey. Oh, Jeffrey, somewhere. No. Oh, goodness. Karen, Xiomara. Present teacher. Hello, good evening. Kelly, Aime. Present teacher. Hello, good evening. Kevin, Adrian. Present teacher. Hello. Lydia. Hello, Lydia. Ah, uh, yes, I saw you. <laughs> yes, like. <laughs> okay, good. Let's see who else. 
Lorena Guadalupe. Lorena. Marlin. Yasir. Present. Hello, Marisol. Marisol tenía sick, creo. Ok, sorry. Oswaldo. Stanley. No. Pablo Fabricio. Rosa Cecibel. No. Rosa Elena. Saúl. Present teacher. Hello. Tania Concepción. Tania. Uh -oh. Williams. Williams, Williams. Present teacher. Hey, how are you? And Jackie. Present. Hi. Hi. How are you? Um, I am fine. <laughs> I am fine. <laughs> All right. ¿Quién se nos acaba de unir que no lo haya mencionado? Hello, Lori. Hello. And Oswaldo. Present. Hello, Oswaldo. How are you? Fine, thank you. All right. How are you? I'm fine. Thanks. Lori, Lori. Hi, teacher. Hi, good evening. Alguien más en de unir? Somebody else just connected? No? No more? Yeah, all right, good. Okay, good, good, good. One second. Okay. Let's go. Okay. Wait a minute. I just chose the wrong slide. It's here. Yes, it's here. Well, let's go on. Remember, we practice the introduction of this unit yesterday. I'm not wearing boots. And then we got to practice clothes for warm weather and clothes for hot weather. For hot, it's warm. And for cold weather, it's cold. Okay, or freezing. Let me see. Okay, now we are going to start on the chat describing aquellas piezas de ropa que ustedes, oh, I love, I like to wear. Aquellas piezas de ropa que ustedes, ah, con esto me veo super cool. Okay, I like sweaters, I like jeans, I like dresses, I like skirts, I like boots, I like sunglasses. Aquellas piezas que se dice, hmm, de así me gusta poner. ¿Ya? Yeah? ¿Got it? ¿Sí se comprendió la instrucción o a todos les falló el internet? Se le escuchaba un poco entrecortado y la presentación se estaba como congelando. Ah, a mí me pasó right. igual. ¿no? A todos, teachers. Eh, ah, entrecortado sí, a todos, en la teacher, pantalla. Es mi signal, definitely. Thank you. Ok. Déjenme ver. I'm going to turn off the camera and I'm going to try to share the screen. Ok. Let's see. Now? No. Oh, yeah. Yes? Yes? Perfect. Yes. Bye.
En el chat vamos a describir aquellas piezas de ropa que nos gusta usar. Remember that yesterday we talked about the clothes, right? Clothes for work, clothes for leisure, formal, casual clothes. Entonces vamos a escribir qué es lo que nos gusta. I like jeans, I like boots, I like sweaters, I like esas piezas de ropa que nos gusta usar. Yes? You say, ah, this is my nice outfit. I like socks, I like shorts, I like sandals. All right? On the chat. All right, so there is a light shorts and t-shirts. Okay. I like wearing jeans, a sport t-shirts, and sneakers of so many colors. <laughs> okay. All right. Who else? What else? Okay, I like jeans and sweaters. I like shorts. I like, remember, I like. I like dresses. Mm -hmm. What else? I like shoes. I like suits. Uh -huh. I like sunglasses. I like wearing shorts, blouse, and sneakers. Great. Uh huh. I like t shirts, jeans, and sneakers as well. Really? Uh -huh. I like suits. I like wearing shirts, blouse, and sneakers. I like to wear t shirts and shorts. I like sunglasses and t shirts. All right. What else? What else? Yes, as well. But tell me. I have a question. Tell me. Is correct. I I like wear, or I like wearing. I like wearing, or I like to wear. Yes. Thank you. All right. I like. O sea que cuando hablamos de algo acerca de estrachen en el momento. Se coloca el verbo sin conjugar y el siguiente verbo conjugado. En este caso, lo que sucede es que tenemos dos verbos. Entonces, no pueden estar los dos verbos en base form. El primero, sí, I like, normal, ¿verdad? Pero el siguiente, puede ser un infinitivo con la partícula to, I like to wear, o puede ser un gerundio, I like wearing. 
pero no para todos los verbos aplica esto. Hay unos que estrictamente tienen que ir en gerund y unos que estrictamente tienen que ir en el infinitivo. Pero después del verbo like, love, cualquiera de las dos aplica. Uh -huh. Ok, thank you, right. Miss. No problem. Ok, I like t-shirts, shorts and sneakers. I like t-shirts and shorts. I like sandals. Mr. Saúl tiene que ser I like. Porque si usted dice, I'm sandal, usted es sandal. Pero you are not sandal. You like sandals. All right? Sí, error, error. Sí. No, it's okay. Just, just make the correction. I like. Porque I am es soy. Yo soy o yo estoy, right? I like. Es como, I like chocolates, I like cookies, I like candies, I like shorts, I like shoes, I like jeans, right? Son las piezas de ropa que les gustan. Yes, that's okay. But, ahora, vamos a hacer como ayer. ¿Se recuerdan que describimos lo que estábamos usando? Supongo que no es el mismo outfit, ¿verdad? <ríe> Entonces, vamos a volver a decir, ¿ok? I am wearing, y lo que hoy estamos usando. Obviously, today tenemos que incluir los colors. I am wearing a blue dress. Black shoes and dark blue sunglasses, que se yo, yes? So I'm wearing, les volví a poner el topic para que se recuerdan cómo se decía, estoy usando, right? I'm wearing, I'm wearing pink pants, a red shirt, and white sneakers, yes? So let's say that the examples, it's not that I'm wearing that. I'm wearing actually black jeans, uh light green blouse and white sneakers okay all right describe what you are wearing on the chat excellent by one minute para que escriban lo que están usando remember i am wearing yes well si ya lo olvidaron i'm gonna write it right here I am wearing. Then everything you are wearing. Uh huh. I'm wearing military t shirt, beach shirts, and black cap. Kevin, you like wearing caps. <laughs> and you didn't say that. <laughs> I like wearing caps. Es 50%. A veces con gorras y sin gorra. Really? But you like caps. Yes. Uh -huh. Then you say, I like caps. Sí, I have. 20. Uh, eight 30. caps. Eight caps, different colors. The red, blue. My God. Uh, light red. So you definitely is someone who likes caps. Yes. <laughs> okay. 50 and 50. Okay, nice. Marilyn says, I'm wearing orange t-shirt, gray jeans, and black sneakers. Karen says, I'm wearing a purple t-shirt, black shorts, and sandals. Brenda says, I'm wearing red blouse, black skirt, and blue sandals. Oh, wow. Brenda is wearing a skirt because it's hot. The weather is hot. Okay. Continue, continue. ¿Quién más falta? One, two, three, four. Only four people participated on the chat. Los demás todavía están editando. I'm wearing shirt and jeans. All right, nice. Good. Okay, I'm wearing blue jeans. Somebody on... The other chat. <laughs> I'm wearing a light shirts and t-shirts. 12, Carlos. Great. Good, good, good. Okay. Oh my God, Gerardo is not 
able to speak, he says. Okay, I'm wearing a black t-shirt, blue shorts and black sandals. I'm wearing brown blouse and jeans. That is Lorena and Jacqueline. All right. Good. Kelly says, I'm wearing a t-shirt, a brown t-shirt, black shorts and black sneakers. Uh, how do you say ropa cómoda? Comfortable, clothes. Comfortable se escribe, pero se pronuncia comfortable. Okay. Comfortable. People say comfortable, but it's comfortable. Yes. Like com comfort. Com comfort. Comfortable. All right. You are welcome. Good. Okay, I'm wearing black t-shirt, brown shorts, and white sneakers. Denny's. All right. Good. Now it's time to practice the colors. This is just a matter of vocabulary. I'm wearing a white t-shirt, black shorts, and sandals. Bye. Eso es para que nos familiaricemos con la pronunciation y el spelling, cómo se letrean los colores, pero no es que sea un tema totalmente new, right? You must be a little bit familiar. Okay, white, light gray, gray, dark gray, beige, light brown, brown, dark brown, black, red, pink, orange, yellow, light green, green, dark green, light blue, blue, dark blue, and purple. Entonces, solo para pronunciation y que nos familiaricemos la escritura, ¿ok? El spelling, la, la letra con las que se escribe cada palabra. Aunque okay, con algunas ya estamos familiarized, probably. My favorite color of t-shirt is black. Or I love black t-shirts, right? So you can say that. Vaya, como pueden notar, maybe, ya lo voy a hacer catar. Eh, los colores pueden tener como la variante de color suave o de colores fuertes o intensos solo agregando la palabra light o la palabra dark. ¿Yes? Este es un color gris, pero este es un gris suave o un gris fuerte. So, you say gray, light gray, gray or dark gray. Generalmente sucede con todos los colores. Yes, they like say brown, light brown, dark brown. Yes, with blue, you say dark blue, blue, light blue. With green, we usually say light green, dark green. Yes, so if you want to be more specific with the intensity of the colors, then you just say light or dark. All right. So your favorite colors and um, probably tienen más de un color favorito. Like my favorite colors are red and purple. Escriban sus favorite colors. My favorite colors are. No se vale escribir my favorite color is. Tiene que ser más de uno. My favorite colors are like this. My favorite colors are red and purple. My favorite colors are dark blue and white. <laughs> As an example, <laughs> okay. Yeah, everybody completed on the chat. My favorite color of t-shirt is black. That's only an example. Teacher, ¿cómo se pronuncia favorito? Favorite. Favorite, like favorite. Okay. No podemos usar is, no porque no se pueda, sino porque estamos hablando de colores en plural. My favorite colors are, porque necesito que me digan más de un color. Porque generalmente la gente dice, my favorite color is pink. Yeah, I muere. But in the idea of the exercise is to practice more than one color. 
My favorite colors are black, red, white, and black, and dark green, creo. Brenda? Is turquoise in English? Turquoise. <laughs> okay. Or aqua. Mm hmm All right. Green. All right, my favorite colors are black and green. All right. My favorite colors are purple, black, blue, pink, and white. All right. Mm -hmm. My favorite colors are black and white. Black and white. Turkeys. Pink, red, and black. Everybody loves black, I see. Uh-huh. Everybody mentions black. Black, 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 black. My favorite colors are black, light, purple. My favorite colors are black, white, purple, and blue. Green, black, white, and rose gold. <laughs> or gold rose to be. All right. Mm -hmm. My favorite colors are aqua and yellow. Oh, wow. Yellow. Okay, I think everybody participated, right? Good. One second. Yes, I think Mr. Aqua is correct, teacher. Yes, you can say that. My favorite color is white and black. Black and white. <laughs> black and yellow. All right. Someone else? Yes, Aqua is correct. Aqua. Actually, yes. It's a name taken from the, from the word water, I think. My favorite colors are white and green, and Linda. They are good. Okay. Let me. Okay, let me go to this part. And here. Well, as I said before, we have been practicing the clothes. The colors, the clothes for warm weather, for cold weather, and now with the colors. Now, there is a conversation that says it's a disaster. Okay. ¿Quién me describe esta escena? What's happening? Uh-huh. It's a... Uh... Conversation acerca de cómo que combinaron las ropas y algunas se destinieron. Exactly. It's a conversation about, yes, doing the laundry. And the, this blouse now is light it's white. blue. <laughs> it's supposed to be white, but now it's light blue because of these new jeans. Right? So look at her face and look at her face. She's angry, she's mad, she's not happy. And she's like, I put this new jeans there with the white clothes, right? So she's suffering. Okay, it's Pat, I think she's Pat, and Julie says, Great, our clothes are dry. Where is my new blouse? What color is it? It's white. Here's a light blue blouse. Is it yours? No, it's not mine. Oh, wait, it is mine. It's a disaster. Oh no, all our clothes are light blue. Here's the problem. Is this new blue jeans? 
Whose jeans are they? Oh, they're mine. Sorry. Uh oh. So the disaster was caused by these new blue jeans. Okay, once again. Great. Our clothes are dry. Where is my new blouse? What color is it? It's white. Here's a light blue blouse. Is it yours? No, it's not mine. Wait, it is mine. It's a disaster. Oh no, all our clothes are light blue. Here's the problem. It's these new blue jeans. Whose jeans are they? Oh, they're mine. Sorry. All right. <laughs> okay. As you noticed, we are going to practice, but before we practice, I'm going to circle these words. These are our clothes, my new blouse. Okay. Then it says, mm, wait a minute. What color is it? It's white. It's okay. Is it yours? It's not mine. Wait, it is mine. It's a disaster. All our clothes are like so. Here's the problem: is these new blue jeans? Whose jeans are they? They're mine. Okay. ¿Se se fija? Hay muchos possessives. Pero ahorita solo para que los tengan en cuenta. Later, we're going to define, we're going to study the possessive. Las palabras que denotan posesión, possessives, right? Mm -hmm. So, hay dos tipos de possessives, pero mm -hmm. a la larga es como para la misma función. Solo son dos formas diferentes de decir la cosa. Right? So, any difficult word? ¿Alguna question? ¿Alguna difficult expression? Yes? What's the difference between mine and my? All right, ahorita lo vamos a ver. Pero me voy a cambiar de color. Okay, for example, cuando digo my, este es un possessive adjective. Y este otro my es un possessive pronoun. Cuando digo my new blouse, menciono la posesión después del my. Pero cuando menciono el mine, lo que se posee se debió haber mencionado antes. Por ejemplo, cuando dice, here's a light blue blouse, is it yours? No, it's not mine. Siempre me hago referencia a la blusa celeste que ya había mencionado. Entonces, yo digo, my new blouse, well, the new blouse is mine. Y ahí muere. Yes. Es lo mismo, es como que digo, mi nueva camisa, o esa camisa nueva es mía. Yes? So that's the difference. But right now, we're going to practice the conversation just for vocabulary, for intonation, for pronunciation. All right? Okay, let's see. Right. Igual, les comparto la screenshot if it's necessary, okay? Let me... Make the groups. Lo puede ser un poco grande por si alguien no se logra unir por la connection. So hopefully everybody can participate. Okay. Session. Sí, empieza. Okay. Pretty hard clothes are dry. I are dry. What is my new blouse? What color is it? It's white. 
Ahí yo contesté. No, otra. What <laughs> color is it? It's white. Here's a light blue, blue blouse. Is it yours? No, it's not mine. White, I see me. White, it's, it's mine. It's a disaster. Oh, no. All our clothes are light blue. Here's the problem. Is this new blue jeans? Was jeans are they? Oh, they're mine. Sorry. Excellent. Uh -huh. <laughs> Or al revés. Okay. Or different. Great. All clothes are dry. What is my new blues? What color is it? It's white. Um, it, I, 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 I me perdí. Hers and like blue blues. Is it church? No, it's not mine. Why? It is mine. It's a disaster. Oh. It's not mine. Why is it mine? It's a uh, disaster. Oh, no. All our clothes are light blue. Here's a light blue blues. Is this your? No, it's not. It's not mine. Wait, it's mine. It's a disaster. Oh no, our old clothes are light blue. Here's the problem. Is this new blue jeans? Whose jeans are they? Oh, they're my sorry. Y ahora otra vez hay que darle vuelta. Ahora usted es Pat y yo soy July. Bye. Great, great for close. It's white. It's white. Where's a light blue? Blue is black. It is it yours? No, it's not mine. Wait, it is mine. It's a disaster. Oh no. All your floors, flood floors are light blue. Here's the problem. Is this new blue jeans? Who jeans are they? Mm, they're mine, sorry. Mm. Mine, mine. They're mine. They're mine, sorry. Progress. Great. All flooded. Our clothes. Our clothes. Clothes. Clothes are dry. Where is the new blouse? New blouse. Blouse. Vaya, ahora yo voy a hacer pat con alguna de ustedes. Con Andrea le tocaría, Carlos. Vaya. Empieza okay. esto entonces. Dice, sí. Great. Our clothes are dry. Where is my new blues? What color is it? White. Uh, her are light, light blue, blue blouse. It is yours. No, it's not mine. Wait, it is mine. It's a disaster. Oh no, all our clothes are light blue. Here's, 
here's the problem. Is these new blue jeans? Whose jeans are they? Oh, they're my sorry. Okay. Okay. Yeah, ahora. <laughs> Puedo hacemos hacerlo intercalado, intercambiado. Uh -huh. Or disaster. Oh no, oh, her clothes are like blue. Here is the problem. Is these new blue jeans? What jeans are they? Oh, they are my. Uh, so, sorry. Hoy empieza usted. Okay. Bye. Parece que hay alguien más. Oh, no. No, 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 estamos bien. Ok. Eh, voy. Grit or clothes are, are dry. Where is my new blouse? What color is it? It's white. It is a light blue blouse. Is it yours? No, it's not made. Wait, it's made. It's a disaster. Oh no, all your clothes are light blue. Here's the problem. It's this new blue jeans. Blue jeans. Whose jeans are they? Oh, they're mine. Sorry. Okay, excellent. <laughs> 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 Oh, no sonó una campana. No. Uh, eh, otra vez. Ok. Yo me empiezo. Great. Our clothes are dry. What is... Okay, any question? Any question? No questions? One question, teacher. Tell me. Uh, the, the pronunciation, the uh, disaster, or disaster. 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 Ah, exactly. Okay. It's a disaster. Okay. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. Anything else? Algo más? No? Sure. Okay. Great. Our clothes are dry. Where is my new blouse? What color is it? It's white. Here's a light blue blouse. It's yours. No, it's not mine. Wait, it is mine. It's a disaster. Oh no, all our clothes are light blue. Here's the problem, is these new blue jeans. Whose jeans are they? Oh, they're mine, sorry. All right, Kelly. No pregunta, teacher. Tell Hay alguna correction para el diálogo número cinco de Pat? Que dice, it is mine. It is mine. It is, okay. Yes. Okay. En este caso, lo que pasa es que ella está como, no, no es mío. Y después dice, no, sí, espera, it, sí es mío. Por eso es como, eh, esta parte está como un poquito enfatizada, it is mine. Solo que ella cambió de color, ¿verdad? Right? Por eso pensaba que no era de ella. All right. So, aquí les hago una pequeña explanation en cuanto a los sonidos del en sh. Cuando la S está sola, pues suena normal como una S, como español, right? Pero cuando está con una H suena como sh, como cuando le decimos sh. A alguien, right? Like sh. So, suit, shirt. Socks, shorts. Scarf, shoes, right? So, this is Sandra's new shirt. These are Sam's purple shoes. These are my shoes and socks. My shorts are and t-shirts are blue. 
Solo es como para notar la diferencia, que en inglés obviamente hay más sonidos, ya sea de vocales o de consonantes. Y este es uno de los contrastes, right No vamos a profundizar mucho porque esto sí nos va a ocupar un poco más. Vale. El posesivo para mí, en adjective, va a ser I, my, mine. Hay possessive adjectives y hay possessive pronouns. Vamos a escribir, permítanme, escribir esto. Los pronombres. Dimos I, el possessive va a ser mine en adjective. Y en pronouns va a ser mine. Second, voy a decir you. Espérame que esto queda muy grande. Vamos a hacerlo en lowercase. You, your, yours. Para eso lo voy a poner acá. Que sería he. He, his, his. Este es el mismo possessive adjective y el mismo possessive pronoun. The next one will be she, her, hers. Next one, we, our, ours. And the last one will be pero me lo voy a poner un poco más atrás porque si no, no te va a leer bien. They, their, theirs. Yes? So you say, my socks. These socks are mine. Okay, these are your socks. These socks are yours. These are his socks these socks are his these are her socks these socks are hers these are our socks these socks are ours these are their socks these socks are theirs y esas son las dos formas de demostrar posesión también existe el clásico apostrofe s cuando usted va a un salón y dice, Mayra's salón. No estoy diciendo la contraction del verb to be, que Mayra is a salón. No, es el salón de Mayra. Mayra's salón, right? Por eso acá dice, Pat's blouse. No es Pat is a blouse, sino que la blouse de Pat. Pat's blouse. Julie's jeans. Rex's t-shirt. Y para preguntar, ¿de quién? Whose blouse is this? Como cuando dejamos algo en la... O cuando encontramos algo en la red, sabemos que no es nuestro. Decimos, ¿de quién es esta? ¿De quién es esta soda? <ríe> Me la puedo tomar. Whose soda is this? Right? Whose es de quién? Whose piece of cake is this? Whose lasaña is this? Right? En el caso de, obviamente preguntar de quién es esta comida, pero en el caso de el contexto de, de esta unidad es de las piezas de ropa, right? Whose blouse, right? Julie's blouse or Pat's blouse, Rex's t-shirt. Entonces quedamos que hay varias formas de denotar possessive. La primera es con un possessive adjective mencionando lo que se posee o la pertenencia después del pronombre. O con un possessive pronoun, cuando hemos mencionado lo que se posee o la pertenencia antes. Yes? So, these are my socks. Puedo decir exactamente lo mismo usando un pronombre. Simplemente digo, these socks are mine. Yes? Aquí mencioné los socks antes y aquí mencioné los socks después. Bye. Van a escribir en su chat una oración, la misma oración, pero de ambas formas. Como, this is my computer. O, this computer is mine. Yes. Con la misma posesión, con el mismo objeto que ustedes poseen, pero usando con el adjective y usando con el pronombre. En el chat. On the chat, please. And well, I can give you an example. This is my
Yes. Al menos con my and mine ya tienen que tener como un poco claro. This is my cell phone. This cell phone is mine. Eso es exactamente diciendo lo mismo, solo usando dos estructuras diferentes. Right? ¿Pueden ver el chat? ¿Can you see the chat? Yes. Ajá. Uh -huh. These are my last book. This book is mine. This is my last book. This book is mine. Right. This is my new computer. This new computer is mine. Exactly. This is my bedroom. This bedroom is mine. Entonces ustedes van a decir, ¿cuál de los dos usan? De ahí va a depender de qué le quieren dar énfasis. Como cuando le dicen, eso que está ahí es mío. Nadie lo va a tocar. <laughs> right? That's mine. <laughs> right? Okay. This is my car. This car is mine. Uh -huh. ¿Qué exactly piensa Elsie en Brenda? This is my car, this car is mine. <laughs> All right. Uh -huh. And Carlos as well. This is my car, this car is mine. This is my purse. This purse is mine. But al menos con el posesivo de primera persona ya estamos. Pues lo mismo funciona para you. Your, yours. He, his, his. Right? La gran mayoría solo le agregan ese. El único que cambia es my, mine. Our, ours. Your, yours. His se mantiene igual. His, his. Her, hers. Their, theirs. Right? Okay, this is my notebook. This notebook is mine. Okay. Good. Questions? Alguna duda? Any question? Los exercises acerca de cómo utilizar esto del possessive pronoun y el possessive adjective o viceversa, lo vamos a resolver mañana. Don't worry, Carlos, tell me. Carlos? ¿Hay algún eh, momento especial o frase en especial o momento que tenga que ocuparse alguno de los dos? Que tenga sentido. Al, para algunos es lo mismo que usted diga, this is my computer o this computer is mine. Yo creo que en el segundo caso como que usted quiere enfatizar que es suyo. ¿Ya? O en el primer caso podría ser, this is my computer. Quiere enfatizar la computer. No tanto el hecho de que es suya. ¿Sí? ¿Yes? Es un poquito eh, defendiendo okay. el contexto. Pero, por ejemplo, si yo quiero decir, this is my father. No puedo decir, this father is mine, que me pertenece. Right? Más que todo con cosas, objetos que sí nos pertenecen. A menos que hayan personas que digan, this is my husband, o this husband is mine. <ríe> ya ahí va a ir la intención. ¿Ok? Eso, pero eso es otra historia. Yes. <risa> ok, pero sí existe en español. Usted dice, ok, este, este es mi carro o este carro es mío, no es tuyo. Cuando ya es como una discusión podría ser, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Va a depender del, del contexto. All right. Ok. Ok. Eh, right. Él sí pregunta si es lo mismo escribir this or this. Recuérdense que el primero es para plural y el segundo es para singular. Sí, el que lleva una I nada más es this, un objeto, this computer. Y el otro es these, puede ser these socks, these shoes, para dos o más. En eso radica, singular o plural. This is my pencil, this pencil is mine. Very good, checklist. All right, very good. Espero que no se asusten si vuelve a temblar. Ok. <laughs> Be careful. Ok. In case you need to put on pajamas. 
Tonight, yeah, no. Tim Ford. No, no. <laughs> no voy a hacer que lo filmen en el pasaje. <laughs> Without hay, hay que andar precavidos. <laughs> Careful. <laughs> All right. No, hopefully nothing happens, okay? Hopefully I see you tomorrow. Everything will be alright, okay? See you. Okay, see you tomorrow. Bye -bye. Goodbye. Good night. Bye. 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 Bye.